Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. So today's video, we're going to talk about the mask hypocrisy. Now, here in New York City, when Mr. 19 started with this bullshit, COVID, started running rampant, they were telling people they needed to get a particular kind of mask for their face, the N95. Then they realized, uh-oh, we don't make enough of that, and they were selling out everywhere. And then it, to calm people down, they came up with this fictitious lie and stated that you need to put something over your face, anything. And so now people were putting, legitimately putting anything over their face. Literally, they had stupid shit like scarves, socks. One guy, I remember a guy in Central Park wore a sock over his face. Anyway. So with that, they were like, you know, a bandana, a gator, all of these crazy things to put over your face. All right. So now... You know, come to find out that none of that should work. Like I've been saying before, I've said this in videos before, I've said it a thousand times, I'm going to say it again. Those things weren't going to work. If you didn't have the proper uh, face mask on, anything else was not going to work. It didn't cut down on it, any of that shit. Fine. But the bigger problem was the crime. I remember thinking to myself, not saying this out loud. Actually, I did say it. I said it to... We all said it. We all said the same shit about crime. This is going to have crime spike because now you're giving people the green light to wear a face mask. Now, in the city, if you wore a face mask in the summertime, cops had automatically knew you were up to no good. Automatically knew that. Anybody who wore a mask in the summertime, we thought they were up to no good. You just knew it. You're like, why is he wearing a fucking face mask? It's 90 degrees out here. And the sun's beaming on us. So the kid would undoubtedly, or the person would undoubtedly get stopped, searched, and they'd be up to no good. They have a weapon on them of some kind. Fine. That was back in the 90s, 80s, early 2000s. And then Mr. 19 happens, and they're encouraging you to put something on your face. They're like, please put something on your face to save everybody else. You're going to save the world if you do this. And everybody was like, oh, man, I'm going to stop other people from getting sick. I'm going to put a mask over my face. And then people turn around and go, well, if you do that, first of all, it's not going to work. Secondly... It's going to encourage criminals to do more criminalistic acts. All right. They go, no, that's not going to happen because this is for safety reasons. Now, Eric Adams, who was a big proponent, actually, of having you put something on your face. Now, Eric Adams is turning around going, could you guys please not wear a mask when you walk into a store? Because these kids, guys, are wearing masks. They're going into stores and they're destroying and stealing left and right and the problem is they can't find out who it is because guess what surprise they have a mask on their face so now the criminals are doing exactly what they were told to do for the last two years now here in the city they're saying could you do us a favor could you please take that off hypocrisy because now it's biting them in the ass actually if i'm not mistaken i think there was a police chief or two that had mentioned this stating that this is a bad idea and that you're going to tell people to put this on they're going to continue to wear it especially after mr 19 was sort of over they were like well you can continue to wear your face coverings if you feel like it now they're saying don't wear it or at the very least when you walk into an establishment so if you're, you're outside they're saying it's fine to wear it which if you're still wearing a fucking face mask outside you have mental fucking problems the war is over take it the fuck off People still feel like they have to drive in their cars with it. I'm still watching people driving their cars, and now I'm pointing at them like, look at that asshole. You know, like, why are you wearing a mask? That's not the point. The point is, is that criminals are now doing exactly what they were told to do, and now they're telling them to take it off before they walk into a business of any kind. And and again, guys, imagine they walk in the, the store, they have a hat on, they have a mask. You can't see shit. Some of them were even wearing sunglasses, so you really can't see shit. So they go into the CVS and the Walmarts. By the way, the CVS over by me is now officially closed because the same dude kept going in there and robbing it. Instead of breaking his hands, breaking knuckles and fingers, now they have to close down. So now that CVS is done. Um, and that's part of it. But now, a lot of the, again, a lot of the drug addicts that were stealing, they weren't wearing a face mask. They just didn't care. But the kids... They're wearing the face mask. You see, when they raided um, in Philadelphia, they, they hit a Wawa's. They went in there, and they uh, a lot of them had masks on, a lot of them didn't. Now, for those that did, the cops don't even focus on them. That's the crazy shit. The cops are like, well, we can't do anything with that, and we're not going to focus on that. We got 50 other kids or idiots who weren't wearing a mask, and we could find those kids really quickly. So if you're wearing a mask, they left you alone. 
because they weren't gonna they weren't going to go through go through it just also just so that you can get arrested and then be back out that was the other side of that coin so again guys all of this going on because adams before he was mayor he was sitting there like they should put him up face myself they should do this we we should have them cover themselves so they could protect other people now and this is a couple this is almost a month ago now he's pleading for people to not wear a mask pleading for people to please take it off before you go into business so that we can identify you in case you commit a crime that's how that's what i heard you know i mean yeah i know people heard other i heard please take your mask off so that when you do commit a crime we can find out where you who you are and then where you are uh again guys all of the hypocrisy everything hypocritical in relations to uh mr 19 COVID, it's starting to bite them on the ass they're even letting certain things go like they're not pushing the booster arm ticket they're not pushing that anymore. At least here in the city, I don't hear about it. Um, you don't hear them pushing a lot of shit anymore. They're just sort of letting it go now. They had so many people lose their jobs, get fired, walk away from their jobs, retire. And now they're like, well, you know, you don't need to do it anymore. We didn't have to do it to begin with. But still, the hypocrisy is starting to bite them in the ass, which is sort of good. The problem is, not even it's not a left or right thing. Politicians don't listen and they don't learn. So this, they're just going to, they just shrug their shoulders like it happened. Because when it happens again, they're going to do the same exact shit they did before. And they don't apologize ever. Politicians just don't apologize. I don't give a fuck if you're left and right. When was the last time you seen an, a politician apologize for putting their, their, the American people through anything? Never. Never in the history have I saw a politician go, guys, we do apologize for putting you through this. We find out now that we were wrong. We find out now that the face coverings didn't work and the arm ticket is not working. We're sorry. You never hear that shit. So the problem is, guys, um, this all happened and they just said, we tried. That's the excuse they give now. We tried. Criminals are acting up all over the place. You have the, the thing in Chicago, those kids acting up. And the mayor, the new mayor of Chicago, by the way, the new mayor of Chicago, this piece of shit is worse than Lori Lightfoot. I didn't think anybody could be any worse than her. And this motherfucker walked in to Chicago. He goes, you know what? Kids, they, they make mistakes. And 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 we have to we have to protect them when they make these mistakes by letting them know that it was okay, but they shouldn't have do it again. Some and I'm paraphrasing what he said, but it was something to that effect. And I'm like, wait, what? My mine as a mayor, I've been like, we're locking these little motherfuckers up, and when we get them in there, we're gonna beat them with rubber holes in the fucking cold in the refrigerator somewhere that's what have been my response i said we're gonna take our fucking belts off and we're gonna beat these kids in submission something like that would have came out of my mouth but no he was like well you know what they're allowed to make mistakes they were destroying the city and that was his response chicago is officially done Lori lightfoot was it was a was a breath of fresh air in comparison to this dude anyway point is guys the face covering hypocrisy is now biting everyone in the ass because all of the liberal cities who were pushing it big time they're feeling it because now crimes are being committed and they cannot find the suspects because they're covering their face and it's not just running into the store and robbery it's all kinds of crimes now guys you got shootings in the middle of the streets but they were all wearing a mask you got guys raping chicks the chicks can't identify the dude because he's wearing a mask the mask hypocrisy is biting him in the face biting him in the ass sorry Anyway, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth channel.